This is the Ohio River, this black line in through here. You see the rotation coming up as it moves just a bit. It is just due west of Bethel here. This is in Claremont County, southern Claremont County here, Eric, where uh, we're going to get a rush of wind going in this way. Also some wrap around and you're going to see your rotation right in here where that tornado could be on the ground. Uh, Moscow as we cross the Ohio River. So we're still talking about very, very close to the Ohio River communities uh, closing in on Claremont County, Moscow, Felicity, Felicity and Augusta. You're the next two communities that would be right in the path of this storm as you see the reds really close to the greens wrapping around one another and that would mean a chance of a tornado is going to be likely in Claremont County at this point as we eye those communities. Go ahead and get in your tornado shelter as we speak, Eric. Harrison, where's that icon? You have that triangle icon. That's an indication that's a TBS signature. Where is that located that you see on your radar? It is going to be almost directly over Moscow. You'll be able to see that right here and what I do is when I mouse over it, we can actually see the circulation up in the sky. This is high all the way down to the ground, Eric, just 3,000 feet off the ground, a very strong rotation as we get an update. So that would be a very good indication that a tornado would be on Tornadoes the ground. Tornadoes occurred at the Brown County being extended. And this is the same storm that we've been tracking all the way once it crossed the Ohio River. Reports of the damage and the tornado on the ground in Claremont County. And it has continued to move east towards Georgetown, uh, towards Bethel. Hammersville took a direct potential direct hit. And then now we're headed more into uh, further into Brown County at this point. These two cells have combined a little bit and that interaction with the two different cells can create a little bit of a rotation. And that's why there was that potential tornado that's on the ground moving into Scioto County. Of course, Shawnee State Park is going to be really important. Eric, you have more information? Yeah. Regardless of whether there's a tornado or not, Eric, we're tracking these storms. They're moving east at about 70 miles an hour, and that would indeed mean at least destructive straight line winds possible with this storm complex here as it races off towards the east.